time for your ABC 36 Storm Team forecast. Another round of rain and storms on this Wednesday here in central and eastern Kentucky. Brief break now, but we still have that main surface cold front to get through here later on tonight. Shower and storm chances really back down as we stay warm into the day tomorrow. A secondary front, now that will bring some drier and milder air into the region for the end of the week. And comfortable temperatures and really low end uh, rain chances, I think, over the weekend. Uh, nice break in the action, which is exactly what we need, uh, given that we had some pockets of moderate to heavy rain that moved through during the early and mid part of the afternoon, what's left of it exiting into western West Virginia. But back here to the west, we've got the cold front approaching the Ohio River, and you see some of those storms kind of lighting up from central Indiana down into southeastern Missouri. So later on, uh, through the mid to late evening, we should begin to fill the gaps in as that front approaches. Downtown Mount Sterling out in front of the Montgomery County Courthouse. Uh, data not showing up, but temperatures were covering uh, across the area nicely after uh, we had a bit of a cool down with the rain cooled air. It's 80. Casey County with the Kentucky Mesonet site there near Liberty. And looking at temperatures across here, it's actually 74 in Mount Sterling, 81 Lexington, 82 in Frankfort, down south, now back into the upper 70s after being around 70 with the rain earlier today. And this is really adding uh, to the muggy feel, a lot of moisture in the air, upper 60s and low 70 dew points. That's what we typically see in July and August. A lot of available moisture for this front to work with. It is uh, running into far western Kentucky. Here's front number one, here's boundary number two, and that is the leading edge of the drier and milder air. Won't be in here until really tomorrow night and into the day on Friday. Notice mid-evening starting to see some storms along the Ohio River, and eventually those will continue. Not expecting anything in the way of organized severe weather, maybe an isolated strong storm, but I think it's really going to be more so what we have dealt with yesterday and today with just some heavy rain, some thunder and lightning and gusty winds. Tomorrow, stray shower or two uh, along that boundary. Of course, rainfall totals between now and the time we wrap it up tomorrow will vary. We'll see some spots with localized heavier downpours that could be upwards of an inch. Other spots a little less than a tenth even. Secondary boundary moves through and then we're in much better shape. 76 on Friday. The weekend, again, the model's kind of bouncing around uh, as far as the timing of the moisture returning. We're going to hang on to some low-end shower chances. One thing that's going away with our muggy cast here, we're going to be a much more comfortable and we'll see just low-end chances. Don't cancel any any outdoor plans at all. In fact, I think a lot of the area, based on the latest data, may end up being fairly dry through the weekend and into early next week. A little secondary boundary skips through here on Monday, so that's going to keep our temperatures level into the 70s. So tonight, mild scattered storms returning, 66. Coming up tomorrow, partly sunny, a stray shower or two, mainly south and east of Lexington. Extended forecast, again, just isolated low-end chances through the weekend, so not bad. Temperatures remaining in the upper 70s through the period, making a run at the 80-degree mark a week from now.